What's up, collectors? So, trying something a little different towards the end of this month. Uh, I was getting close to my end of the month toy haul for April 2021 and decided I'm gonna have to split <laughs> some of these videos up into their own separate videos so, uh, or own separate parts. So this is gonna be part one of my action figure haul and action figure mail call for this month. And I'll upload part two either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, which is my birthday, uh, April 30th. So um, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. So here you see the Mandarin Spawn, which I found at Target. They had a bunch of these. Uh, I never had the original Mandarin Spawn, but I do remember the original one looking really cool. And uh, when that one came out, it was like right around the time I stopped collecting Spawn figures. But I used to be v really, um, really into Spawn back in the day with the comics and action figures that came out by Todd McFarlane. And you can see such a drastic difference between the normal looking Spawn right here and the Mandarin Spawn. And I'll show the back of those. All right. Uh, also, uh, real talk, um, I have not really been in the, much in the mood to do toy hunts or toy hunt videos lately. Um, just losing all like excitement for stuff I normally love doing because of just stuff going on with my job. But um, I'll try to record something for the next video. I'll just say that much. Uh, all right. So also at Target, I finally picked up this Jiren from, I think it's uh, not Dragon Stars, but Dragon Ball Evolve, which is a line I never really got into, but I figure, well, one of my older Toy Hunt videos, I picked up Ultra Instinct Goku, which I have right here. And I said, you know what? Eventually I'll pick up Jiren and eventually I'll pick up uh, Golden Frieza. And the reason why I never like picked up all of them at once is because my target always have tons of these of each character, Ultra Instinct Goku, Jiren, and Golden Frieza. So I figure, well, I should not really be in a hurry to pick these up because they're not selling that well at my target. <laughs> but any anyways, I, I eventually got Jiren. Uh, this guy, Shao Kahn, or Shao Kahn, I call him Shao Kahn. But I guess the correct the correct pronunciation is uh, Shao Kahn. But I, I always say Shao Kahn. People know what I'm talking about. Uh, this guy came from Amazon. He's supposed to, I guess, be delayed until next month. But he arrived in April, which is nice. And hopefully he'll show up in the sequel to the Mortal Kombat reboot movie. <laughs> which I have very mixed opinions on. Um... I don't know. I, I would say it's about even with the 95 film because the 95 film, yeah, it's missing the blood, the gore, the, the fatalities. All that was present in the 2021 version, but the 2021 version, so many missed opportunities in that reboot and just so many odd choices that made me go, wait, this, what? <laughs> this feels like a very odd version of Mortal Kombat I'm watching. <laughs> um, but I'll say it's just an okay Mortal Kombat film. It feels like, uh, well, I hate when movies try to do sequel bait. It just feels exactly like that. Anyways, happy I picked this up. And oh, uh, if you're curious about the other Mortal Kombat 11 figures I have in my collection. Well, I do have Scorpion. And by the way, I have the Storm Collectibles Scorp uh, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, uh, I want to say three. And, oops, no, not Spawn. But I have Sub-Zero, the uh, Frozen Over version from Amazon, I believe. So yeah, there's the, the currently the three Mortal Kombat figures uh, from Tom McFarlane that I have in my collection right now. And I might pick up, oh, what's his name? Not, is it Noob Sabot? Uh, it might be Noob Sabot I'm thinking of. Yeah, Noob Sabot and uh, Cabal look pretty cool, but I don't know if I really want to pick them up or not. Undecided. I'm hoping Todd McFarlane makes um, the characters from the reboot because some of those characters would look cool as action figures, I think. Uh, oh, 
another set I found from Target. Mainly because I don't really have much Mandalorian merchandise <laughs> in my toy collection. I The only thing I have from the Mandalorian, like the only merchandise, is like um, a Baby Yoda plushie or Grogu as it's you know, pronounced, I guess, his real name. Uh, but yeah, I have a, I, I still like calling him Baby Yoda. <laughs> um, I, I have a Baby Yoda plushie, and that's like the only thing I ever bought from the Mandalorian. I never bought any of the uh, the Black Series action figures or anything like that. So when I saw this set, I was like, ah, you know, it does look like a neat little set. I might as well pick it up since they removed action figures of Cara Dune <laughs> um, due to what Gina Carano was saying on Twitter and people got butt hurt and... You know, the whole cancel culture cancel culture thing and her action figures are being removed everywhere. So, you know, she's still included in this set. I figure, well, might as well get this set before they pull this off the shelf. But yeah, I thought it was a cool looking set. Get a, a nice amount of uh, figures with this set. You get a Stormtrooper, the Mandalorian, the Child, or Baby Yoda, or Grogu. <laughs> Goes by so many names, oh my god. Uh, Cara Dune and IG-11. All right, and before I get to the mail call and start opening up some of these packages, uh, I've been on a um, action, or not an action figure, well, yes, action figure, but um, a model kit fix lately, and this one came earlier in the month. You might have seen in the background of some of my Godzilla vs. Kong videos when I was trying to fill up empty space in the background. Uh, this is the Zhao Yun 00 Gundam, and the, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher this name, uh, Bai Lao, Bai Gao, Bai Gao, I'm assuming that's the motorcycle he comes with. And of course this is from the, you know, the SD Gundam line, I guess. But I thought he looked awesome, so I had to order him. And eventually I will put him together. Uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, I, I believe it or not, I found him at Target of all places. Even though uh, I've never really seen much action figures, or no, sorry, model kits. I keep calling them action figures. <laughs> I mean, pretty much that's what they become after you build them, but um, no, they're model kits. Yeah, I've never seen much model kits in my Target before until now, so it's like, oh, okay, they're bringing out all the model kits from the back room finally. Uh, but how to pick them up, and this, is, this will officially be my third Ultra Instinct Goku I currently own. I have the cool statue that I got from GameStop. Um, the figure from Dragon Ball Evolve I just showed you, and now this 7-inch model kit. And finally, I decided to pick up War Greymon. This is the Amplified Edition, I guess. I'm not sure what's the difference between this and the regular version, but uh, he did cost a lot more, and he did look a bit more awesome. I used to be into Digimon back in the day. Um, not so much anymore. I mean, I still appreciate the fact that they're still going with some of the animes, and uh, I, I actually been buying some of the video games for PS4, which I still need to finish one of them. And I bought another one recently, which I don't know why I keep buying these games when I have no time for them. I keep working all the time. time. Uh, but yeah, he did look awesome. Because when I first saw him on Amazon, I was like, oh man, that... The War Greymon looks like an awesome looking action figure, and then I found out it's a model kit, and I was like, oh, oh, I have to build him. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm perfectly cool with that. So, these will cure my boredom, or depression, <laughs> whichever. Uh, so, let's get to the mail call portion of this action figure video. Where did I put my scissors? Okay. So, make sure I feel the package so I don't cut the figure by accident. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I feel part of something. Hey! Alright, so I got uh, Ultraman. And this is... Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to need the scissors. He's a lot smaller than I thought he would be. I thought he would be like around... 6 inch scale. But this looks more like a 5 inch figure from the ugh, Bandai 
Ultra Monster, or not Ultra Monster, Bandai Ultra Man. What was the complete name of the series this came from? I want to say Movie Monsters, but I think it's just Bandai Ultraman something monster series. But anyways, it comes with the tag. And, oh, okay, at least he has articulated arms. He can move his waist, so that's good. Uh, no articulation in the head, so that's a bummer. But these aren't meant to be highly articulated figures. These are just made to, I guess, look good on your shelf with very minor amount of articulation. So let's put Ultraman there. And let's see, what else do we have in here? Ah, okay, so we have Cyber Gamora, who's also small. <laughs> he looks so much bigger in the pictures. Oh, I hate that. You know when you look at action figures online and you're like, oh man, that looks cool. That must be a decent size. And then you get them and you're like, oh, oh it's super tiny. Oh my God, this guy is small. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping he'd be a bit bigger than this. I mean, uh, let's see something. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, he looks cool, but damn. Damn. But anyways, there goes Cyber Gamora. Looking really cool. Looking really spiffy. He has his tag here, number 76. I mean, I guess if all I'm going to be doing is uh, displaying them on the shelf, then I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm trying to see what else might be articulated on him. He looks like he can turn his waist because he has a cut right there. But he's so stiff. So mostly the arms, really. And that's it. Aw. I was hoping he'd be so much bigger to fit in line with my, um, my Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla figures, at least. But he still looks pretty cool. All right. Uh, now for this one. I think there was some personal information. I had to kind of like move that out of the way off camera. But there we go. And I think that was it inside. Just All right. Uh, so we have another Ultraman figure here. This is uh, Ultraman Victory Ganga. And I think that's just Ultraman Ganga, but this is Victory Ganga. Am I saying that correctly? I apologize if I'm butchering that. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Okay. There we go. He's free. Remove that plastic. <clears throat> Get my camera to focus on Ultraman Victory Ganga. It's uh, really awesome. I was hoping they would be so much bigger. <laughs> um, but anyways, same of amount of articulation as the other Ultraman I showed. Just the arms and the waist, that's it. How's the back looking? Okay, not bad. Not bad. And he looks really cool. Here, I'll hold him up closer to the camera. I'll hold both Ultraman figures up, both of the camera. They look really cool. So I can't wait to display these somewhere, maybe on my shelf or my uh, my epic sewer layer playset from Rise of the TMNT, because I have most of my Bandai Movie Monster series displayed on that thing. So these guys will look pretty cool next to them, I suppose. All right, so the final thing here, the final action figure that came in the mail, for now, until more come that you might see in part two, or part three, if there's gonna be a part three. No, I think I'll just make a two-parter. Just this and another video. And, oh, I might do a video update for my G.I. Joe collection because some stuff came that I need to show and also some other stuff I need to talk about. Oh, right, some pre-orders because it was Fan First Friday this month and Hasbro showed a bunch of uh, brand new Transformers, Marvel Legends, and what else? 
is a Transformers, Marvel Legends, Marvel Legends, and GI Joes that um I pre-ordered. I'll talk about in my next video. But yeah, I finally got myself the Marvel Select Psylocke action figure because she's one of my favorite uh, X-Men characters from the 90s, and I could have swore I remember seeing this going for over a hundred dollars, but recently when I looked on Amazon, she was available for only $25. I was like, well, I always wanted the Psylocke figure, even though she's not going to be in scale with the Marvel Legends, because Diamond Select figures or Marvel Select figures are always, I think they're usually around seven to seven and a half inches tall. Because I remember when I bought the Incredible Hulk from the first Avengers film, he was so incredibly massive. And I was like, yeah, he's no, <laughs> no way near in scale with the uh, Marvel Legends figures, but she still looks awesome. And for 25 bucks, compared to what other people are selling her for, I mean, might as well. And of course they have Rogue, which I have the Marvel Legends version of Rogue. And I have the Marvel Legends version of that beast. But Psylocke, I am happy to be a proud owner of the Marvel Selects, ver Marvel Selects version of her. Because the Marvel Legends version of Psylocke is extremely hard to come by. Because of the price she's going for on a secondary market. But she looks so damn cool. Comes with all these switchable hands. She comes with her uh, power effects there, a switchable head. And some background pieces there. That is it for my uh, action figure haul and action figure mail call part one. I will probably get up part two maybe tomorrow or by my birthday, depending when certain stuff arrive in the mail. But yeah, this is it for now. And... Uh, like I said, I've not really been much in the mood to do toy hunts, but I'll see if I can record something for the uh, part two of my toy haul video. All right, so thanks for watching. Stay awesome and happy collecting, guys.